Without question, Bosch and Mila are the two best compact laundry manufacturers. In this video, you'll learn about their best features and reliability based on our internal service figures. We'll only be focusing on Bosch and Mila's with heat pump technology in this video. Mila only manufactures heat pump dryers, while Bosch's most popular dryer is their heat pump, but they do have other options as well. To simplify, I'll cover Mila and Bosch at the same price point of $2,899 for the set. When we were comparing the drying times between the Mila 110V and the Bosch 220V dryers, something odd happened during our tests. Let's first look at the heat pump dryers and why the industry is moving in that direction. So what is heat pump drying? Heat pump technology has been around since the 1990s, so they aren't new. Being ventless or not needing to vent to the outside of your home is the main benefit. So you can place your compact set anywhere with water and power. You can even place compact laundry in your standard 24 inch kitchen cabinets. So here's how heat pumps work. A heat pump dryer recirculates air using a compressor and air exchanger. We have other videos on heat pump dryers, but here are the basics. The process involves four main steps. Step one is air circulation. The dryer recirculates air in the drum. Then it pushes that air through a heat exchanger. Then the air is cooled down and dried, and then reheated back into the dryer drum rather than pulling air into the dryer and then expelling it through the back like a regular dryer. Heat pump dryers have several benefits over traditional dryers, especially energy efficiency. With skyrocketing energy prices, you'll save about $100 to $200 per year. Your clothes will also have less wear and tear because heat pumps dry at lower temperatures. But there are a few drawbacks. Heat pumps do dry at a lower temperature, so it does take longer. Heat pumps also tend to be more expensive and you'll have to vacuum out the exchange filter, except for one brand and you have more parts to repair than the typical reliable heating elements you find in regular dryers. Bosch and Mila are both the same size externally, and they're both the most energy and water efficient despite marketing claims. They're also both the same size in terms of capacity, and you can control both from apps on your phone that actually work. The Bosch lineup has the same three models, the 300, 500, and 800 series, starting at $1,020 to $1,550. When you step up in the Bosch machines, you have more cycles and added quietness. We're going to focus on the most popular 500 series model for this video. Bosch's signature cycle is perfect speed. It increases the drum speed, adjusting the water temperature, and optimizing the wash cycle for maximum efficiency. After that, you have several different cycles from a delicate 45 minute wash to sanitize and allergy washes that can run over two hours. The 500 series dryer is the only Bosch dryer with a heat pump. This model has an array of features, including 14 drying cycles. Bosch's signature cycle, again, is speed perfect, which dries clothes up to 40% faster than a normal cycle. The speed perfect process works by increasing the intensity of the heat and the airflow inside the dryer. After speed perfect, you have different cycle options from 40 minutes to about two hours. Mila has four models from $14.99 to $24.99. Mila is so technologically advanced that their basic model is still more featured than any other competitor's best machine. There are 11 different wash programs covering the basics from Express at 66 minutes to Cottons at two hours and 43 minutes. In the washer, the clothes actually glide on a sheet of water rather than touching the drum. Mila has a special dispenser just for caplets. You can use your own or one of Mila's special application caplets for wools, down parkas, and other specialty clothing. Mila is one of the only compact washers with steam functionality along with Electrolux and Samsung. Steam loosens tough stains in your washer like wine, grass, or blood. At 1600 RPM, Mila is the fastest versus the 1200 RPM average for washers in general. Faster spin speeds will pre-dry your clothes for less time in your dryer. 
Mila's dryer is 110 volts. You can buy their adapter to plug both into a 220 volt receptacle. You will see an interesting comparison between the 120 volt Mila and the 220 volt Bosch later in this video. The drying times range from 88 minutes to 153 minutes, about two and a half hours, depending on the selected drying level. Mila will calculate the precise time by employing mineral and moisture sensors. These sensors will automatically adjust drying times depending on the minerals left in the moisture from your clothes, whether you have hard, soft, or well water. We'll return to this concept later in our comparison. You can add fragrance to your Mila dryer with fragrances designed in France in a special fragrance dispenser called Fragrance Dose. So, which machine will wash better? They'll both wash your clothes well. Mila is gentler on clothes with its honeycomb drum design. Your clothes are insulated by water and don't touch the sides during the cycle. Mila also spins faster at 1600 RPM versus 1400 RPM for the still fast Bosch, extracting more water for less time drying. They both have a normal dispenser, but Mila has that added caplet dispenser as a standard feature. Steam is a standard feature on most full-size laundry, but Mila, Samsung, and Electrolux are the only compact washers that offer this feature. So which machine dries better? Bosch's heat pump dryer requires 220 volts, while Mila's only requires 110. Typically, 220 volts should dry faster. A few weeks ago, we tested both the 110 volt Mila and the 220 volt Bosch dryers. We used a GE washer as the control to wash the clothes. We washed all the clothes in a GE washer as the control so they would come out at the same dampness. So here are the results of our test. Mila's drying time with the 110 volt dryer was like the Bosch. Surprisingly, both the Bosch and Mila had the same results. I was not expecting a 110 volt dryer to match a 220 volt. The only possible conclusion for these results is that the sensors in the Mila must have optimized the drying based on the moisture and minerals left in the water from that load. When the Mila dryer is paired with its washer, the clothes will dry even faster because of that 1600 RPM spin speed. Before you buy a Mila based on features and technology, here are two reasons to consider the Bosch. Bosch has a unique self-cleaning heat pump. All other compact laundry, even Mila, need to be vacuumed so that the lint doesn't build up and cause a service problem. So you must remember to clean your filter. For Bosch, you don't have to worry about it. Based on over 34,000 service calls logged last year, both Bosch and Mila are more reliable than the standard appliance repair at 9.7%. However, Bosch's reliability was significantly better at just 2.5% versus Mila at 8.5. That Bosch washer is the most reliable appliance sold at Yale, according to our service data. So, what do you think about the usable features of the Mila versus the reliability and self-cleaning of the Bosch? Remember, this was only about the basic Mila set. Watch this video to see their best models with their incredible automatic dispenser.